Okay, so we are now trying to get a faster and better algorithm for median selection. And in the previous uh, portion, we reached the conclusion that if we can find an approximate median, something that is roughly in the middle, then we can get a faster algorithm. So the idea is that we're going to take the input and we're going to break it into k subarrays. And now we are going to find the median in each one of those subarrays. Now the idea is going to be that each one of those subarrays are going to be very small, right? In fact, uh, in our case, the subarray each is going to be five elements of the input. And then we are going to take the median uh, of the median. So what do I mean by that? I compute the median for each one of the subarrays. We're going to get k numbers, m1 to mk. And we're going to compute the median of those numbers, right? The intuition is that the number of, of medians is going to be small. It's going to be n over 5, right? So it's much smaller than the input size. And now we are finding this, the median of these numbers. And we're going to use this number as a pivot in our algorithm. So that's the idea of the algorithm. Um, and let's see an example how we're doing it because it's not obvious. So this is the input array which um, we write in columns of five because we are going to partition the array into arrays of size five. Right? So this is one array, this is second array, third array, and so on. And now what we are going to do, we are going to find in each one of those subarrays the median. How we do with that? Well, you know, these are five elements. Just sort the, the five elements, right? Sorting five elements take constant time. So sorting all those uh, columns will take linear time overall. Okay, in this case, the median is going to be 72. In the next column, the, the, the median is going to be, let's see, uh, 20, no, 31, right? 31. In the next array, it's going to be uh, 41. Next column, it's going to be... Uh, Okay, I guess the numbers are not distinct here, which is not great, but it's going to be 26, okay? And now we go and we copy all those uh, medians, right? So 72, you know, uh, 31, 41, 26, right? We are going in them and we copy them into a new array, which is this array, which is now much smaller, right? It has only a fifth of the elements, and now we recursively compute the median uh, uh, for this uh, uh, subarray, right? We compute the median, and we computed the median, and the median turned out to be 60 of this array, right? So now we partition the array, and it's kind of hard to see where it is, but 60 is here. So those are all the numbers smaller than the median. So much fun drawing this. This is the pivot, and those are all the numbers bigger than that. And now, you know, now we continue, now we continue just in like quick select, right? We either found the media, the, the desired element of the desired rank, or we have to continue either on the left side or the right side. So that's the algorithm. Um, and the important thing is that you, we perform only one recursive call, right? So it's a tail recursion, right? Uh, so, so of course it's not completely clear how this algorithm works. So uh, let's maybe uh, try to see uh, what's going on, um, and we will get back to this drawing sh shortly when we try to analyze this algorithm. So here is formally what we are going to do. We are going to have the i subarray, the column, is going to just be the, a block of five elements in the original array. We are creating this. Um, for each one of the li's, we find the median by just sorting it. This is linear time, so it's linear time overall. B is going to be the uh, array of the medians, and we compute the median of those B. This is going to be B. 
And the key lemma, which I'm going to prove uh, uh, shortly, is that this median is pretty good, right? So bottom end pretty good. The number of elements uh, uh, that are smaller than this median X, sorry, the median B, or bigger than uh, this median B, is roughly 7 tenths of the array, okay? So roughly 7 tenths of the, the uh, uh, you know, at most... Uh, Seven tenths of the array might be bigger than the pivot or smaller than it, right? Namely, the pivot is pretty much in the middle, which again intuitively means that, uh, as we will see shortly, this implies a good running time. Okay. Okay. So here is the code of the the algorithm. So we have the 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 input A. We have the rank J. We create those uh, list of elements, each of size five. We find the median of each one of those arrays of psi find using brute force, that takes linear time of all that we said. Now we find the, compute the median B of the medians. We partition the array, we partition the array using this median. We partition A into smaller element than the pivot, greater element than the pivot, using B as pivot, and now we check if uh, the number of smaller elements is equal to J, then we return B because B is the desired element. Otherwise, we, uh, we recast either on the smaller elements or the bigger elements. And that's it, right? Um, so that's the algorithm. Of course, the natural question is, how do we compute the median of the median? But that, of course, is just simply we call recursively. So in fact, I lied earlier because this algorithm performs one recursive calls on the medians, right? And I perform one additional recursive call either on the greater elements or the smaller elements, right? So overall, two recursive calls. Uh, and the important thing is that this recursive call is going to be on uh, n over five elements. And this recursive call, one of those two, is going to be over uh, essentially 7 tenths of n of the, the elements. Right? So we're performing two recursive calls, but the important thing is that the, those two recursive calls together are less than the whole in original input. So we gain something in this recursive algorithm, as we will see shortly. Okay, so next we will uh, prove this lemma that shows that the pivot is the median of medians is a good median, and then we will analyze the running time.